<laughs> Made you jump <laughs> a little there. I know. The <laughs> well, the 2018 giant shark movie starring Jason uh, Statham it has a sequel on the way this year. Meg 2, mm. The Trench, will debut in August. In the meantime, though, one Maryland girl has discovered her own piece of the giant shark. While out fossil hunting last month, nine-year-old Molly Sampson found a huge megalodon tooth. And the meg is known as the largest shark to ever wander the ocean. And it's been extinct for more than three million years. Wow. wow. All right, joining Morning Rush is Molly and her mom, Alicia Sampson. We are both so excited to have you here. Uh, so Molly, you found a smaller megalodon teeth over the years, but what was your reaction when you learned that you made this once in a lifetime discovery? How cool is that? I was so excited and shocked that I found it. <laughs> can, can you show it to us yeah, real quick? Yeah, hold it up, show it to us. Let's see this thing. Wow, that's huge. That's as big as your head. <laughs> wow. So when you found this, what, what, how, just describe to us, was it just laying there? Did you have to dig it up? How did you find it, Molly? We were out with our waiters on, my sister and my dad, and we were out in the water in, near Carrot Cliff, and I looked over it in the water and it was just sitting in the sand and it was about knee deep well for me did you, <laughs> did you know what it was when you saw it yeah wow that's great wow so alicia wh what when did you realize that fossil hunting was something that uh, molly really enjoyed i yeah. mean and, and, and when she found this what was kind of going through your mind as well so um She's been doing this since she was really little with her dad. They love just walking along the beach and um, just finding whatever treasures they can find. She's been doing it since she was, I mean, a baby, basically. But um, she really started getting into, like, keeping the teeth and collecting them um, probably about, like, five years ago. And you could just tell, like, she gets super excited about it. If you sit down and wow. ask her about her teeth, she'll talk for hours about them um molly how many teeth when, have you collected you have a big collection of how many shark teeth do you have in your collection over 400 400 teeth shark teeth <laughs> that's huge <laughs> now you took this one and you showed it to somebody at, a, at an aquarium there's your there's some of your collection right there this one by <laughs> far is the biggest now you showed this to some people at the aquarium what did they think of it when you showed them that big giant tooth <laughs> We were at the Brain Museum and I showed uh, Dr. Godfrey, uh, Stephen Godfrey. Mm -hmm. And he was really excited, and uh, all the other paleontologists, too. Yeah, it was the Calvert Marine Museum, and they were just amazed because he said, um, you know, this is a very rare find. Extremely. Oh, rare. absolutely. So, what are you going to do with it? What if somebody says, hey, I'll give you a lot of money for this, Molly? <laughs> are you going to keep it? Are you going to hold on to it? What are you going to do? I'm probably going to keep it and put a shadow box in my room. Uh, yeah, you may need a lock and a key as well. <laughs> now, I want to ask you, have you started thinking about what you want to do when you grow up? Is this what you want to do? Do you want to be an archaeologist or a paleontologist and go out there and discover things? Yeah. Yeah. Or maybe a violinist. Hey, you could be both of those things at the same time. I think you could do it. Uh, so, Alicia, what what advice do you have for other parents, you know, whose kids are really curious about fossils and really trying to, you know, foster that dream and that passion, too? Yeah, just get them out there as much as you can. I mean, there's so much to explore and so many cool things to find. And um, just, like, seeing her so excited about something like this... I, it's like the best feeling as a parent, uh, you know, just seeing the joy and excitement. I'm really excited for you, Molly. You also, you, you share your, with your friends, you kind of explain to your friends how you do this. Do they, uh, do you have any friends that are excited about going out there and searching for these kinds of things too, these kinds of fossils? Yeah. Mm -hmm. what do you, how do you, what do you tell them? What, what are some advice you give to other kids? How do you do it? Um... 
What, like, how would you do it? How would you teach them how to fossil hunt? Um, just uh, look like if, if, if you're looking on the sand, look yeah. on the top first before you dig. Mm. Yeah, because that's where you found mm -hmm. that thing. Well, Molly, congratulations. That thing is thank huge. You. Yes, thank you both for coming on the show today. We really appreciate it. And best of luck to you, Molly. I know you're, you're going to do great things. Absolutely, she is. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you so much. Yep, have a good one, guys.